Why did these heathens leave a tsunami of crap in my house every time they move out? If you see a bunch of two-prong outlets instead of three-prong outlets, make a mental note that you probably got a couple thousand dollars of electrical repairs that you're going to need to budget for. In the ghetto, Section 8 tenants are actually the best because they are the only mother who pay their rent. Just get all that water running while you're touring the house. This way you can see if you have any leaks, slow drains, or anything of that nature. I won't stop till I hear him say. Y'all, this will make you a ton of money when you're touring properties. As you're walking through the house for the first time, turn on all the faucets, flush all the toilets, just get all that water running while you're touring the house. This way you can see if you have any leaks, slow drains, or anything of that nature before you pay for an inspection. Section 8 tenants are the only people I know that'll do $25,000 of damage to your house and then wonder where their $500 security deposit is when they move out. A lot of people think Section 8 tenants are the worst. This is true, except for when you're in the ghetto. In the ghetto, Section 8 tenants are actually the best because they are the only motherfuckers who pay their rent. When I'm touring a property for the first time, no matter what, I always go right to the HVAC and I turn that thermostat up to the max. This way, I can see how quickly it turns on, how quickly it heats up the house, and how well and efficient it works. If Section 8 tenants are so poor that they can't afford basic necessities like their own rent, why did these heathens leave a tsunami of crap in my house every time they move out? I don't feel bad on eviction day because I hate people who act like they're the victim of the problem they created. Tell me I'm wrong. When you're in the ghetto, Section 8 tenants are the best tenants. Sure, Section 8 tenants act like animals, but they're the only tenants in the ghetto who are going to pay their rent. I want you to pay attention to all the outlets in the house when you're running your numbers and touring it for the first time. If you see a bunch of two-prong outlets instead of three-prong outlets, make a mental note that you probably got a couple thousand dollars of electrical repairs that you're going to need to budget for. I'm so sick of these entitled Section 8 tenants who think they could just sit at home, jerk off, and play video games all day while my tax dollars pay for their food stamps, their housing, and their welfare babies. It's nonsense. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.